Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you very much for joining me today for my updated home and garden tour. Now it's been just short of a year since I filmed the first home and garden tour and since then we've changed a few bits and bobs around the house so I just wanted to take this opportunity to share those with you guys. For anyone that may be new here to my channel, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button at the end or down here in a bar somewhere maybe, and that will keep you up to date with all of my latest videos. Also, for any of you newbies, just a little bit about this house. It's quite quirky. It's set across five levels, potentially six if we ever get round to doing the loft. And I live here with Simon and the five babies at the five bees. <laughs> <laughs> now, without further ado, let's get started. And there we have it. I hope you enjoyed my home tour. Lol, <laughs> I'm on the avenue on. Right, let's do this properly, shall we? Right, you give me the camera. Thank you. Right, off you go, employee of the month. See you later. Get lost. Right, guys. Hello. I am having the camera for this home tour. Let's get started, shall we? Okay, we are in the lounge. Level number one. So, over here, this is probably the biggest change in the house, was that we used to have two really dark sofas, one there and one there. And we changed it. We did not like the dark sofas and we also found that it was a complete waste of space. So we now have this new kind of rustic tan leather sofa, which is ideal for the dogs because the dogs are basically this color. So you cannot see their hair. And it's also got this kind of distressed and like all of these things, these came on the sofa. So it kind of looks a bit shabby and old and crappy. And I like that. I've got some uh, cream cushions on there as a bit of a contrast and this is the first plant of the house that you guys are going to lay your eyes on. There are many to come, believe me. I do love a bit of greenery. And we've got a new, um, what is this, an overhead lamp? Very, very retro. Now, we are very mirror heavy in this house. We have two here, one here, and then let's do a little manoeuvre another one over here okay this is a youtuber's house guys this is not a normal person's house so yes we need lots of light reflection and we also need lots of ootd mirrors right now let's move on to this area over here because this area was formed because of course we got rid of the sofa which was here so we can now have a proper dining table which is fabulous because we did not have this before um so this dining table was from wayfair it came on its own it's kind of got this concrete effect top and then we had to buy chairs and we, we went for a bench Look at that, we're super trendy with our bench. Uh, and we got those from a different store. I'll make sure that I link absolutely everything down below in the description box. On a different note, this is the mango jumpsuit that I featured in last month's haul. I look like I'm wearing like a baby romper, don't I? I'm kind of loving the vibes, but yeah. Hi Bee. Bumble is here waiting with the Furbo because this is new and he's loving life. Um, so yes, another OOTD mirror here, another plant. And then here we have Simon's Pride and Joy, the TV, which he's gonna be watching the World Cup on, sound bar and all of the paraphernalia underneath. Now this area you guys really, really liked in my last home tour, so I'm gonna show you again just for any of you noobs. Uh, this was our alternative wedding guest book thing. <laughs> it's a tree and basically on the tree, these are all of our nearest and dearest's fingerprints or thumbprints, either or. And basically everyone that attended the wedding got a gold ink stamp thing and they got to put their uh, thumb or fingerprints on the tree. And that is basically what we wanted instead of a, yeah, your wedding was awesome or yeah, your wedding didn't have enough booze kind of thing. Ooh. Now, speaking of booze, here we have our little 
spark art this was actually copper but i sprayed it gold um i have a habit of spraying things and this is kind of like our wedding shrine up here on the top um we have some more greenery naturally one of our wedding photos and then i think these were an engagement present from simon's granddad and this was a wedding gift from simon's granddad so we've got a nice little kind of sentimental area on the top there and then down here are some summer drinks mainly gin now i don't drink obviously but yes i like to be a good hostess now i'm gonna pan back and go here because bernard has had a non-surgical facelift so basically if you watch the last home tour or maybe you just watch my vlogs Bernard was a bright blue velvet, a royal blue velvet, if you will, chair with gold frame. Now, Bernard, I felt when we got the sofa, he didn't sit particularly well. So I thought it's time to give Bernard a little bit of a facelift. And Bernard technically now is more of a Bernadette, I think. So I bought this fabric. You guys can see this little uh, Bernard makeover in next week's vlog. And I recovered him. Now for anyone that might be feeling slightly gutted that Bernard has changed color, don't worry. His original upholstering is underneath. He's not been ruined in any way. If I wanted to turn him back to blue, I could literally just take off this fabric. It's literally just stapled underneath to the wood base. Here, the coffee table. You guys love this again in my last video. So this actually is a very, very affordable IKEA coffee table. It comes in two parts. It was black and I sprayed it gold because I love to spray things. Got a random little sculpture on there just because. And then down here, most importantly, are our Harry Potter wands, which this one, of course, is a Death Eater. So that's Simon's and I have Hermione's and some nice little photos. Now, over here, look at Bumble still waiting by the Verbo. Nothing's changed, Bumble, it's still switched off. Now, over here, I'm gonna pan back to this area because you have all been waiting for this moment. We had a print change. So over here, we've got some of these very trendy line drawings. And then over here, a ginormous one by yet another mirror. Um, and these are from the brand Decenio. And this is a brand who I work with quite frequently. So I have a discount code for you guys. It's gonna be down below in the description box and it's gonna entitle you to 25% off. Now there are some exclusions with that discount code but all of those details will be popped down in the description box below. Uh, so yes, this is the front room. I hope you've enjoyed this little segment. Got some gypsophilia on there. Um, and now I'm gonna take you guys up yonder so let's head up here to the second level to the bathroom now i actually did a designated video for our bathroom uh, last year at some point because we had it redecorated and yes we did lots of different homey type things in here um, so there is a designated video for the bathroom if you guys wanted to watch the makeover but I'm just going to give you a very brief tour of this one over here is the famous fragrance wall um, and this is essentially the wall of fragrances. The first three shelves are mine the bottom one is Simon's in there is the shower uh, which we always keep covered up with this rather attractive H&M shower curtain just because I love it. Over here we have the sink or the basin if we're going to be posh about it and then we've got a little hand pump there, towel, loads of crap in there I'm not going to show you in there, a nice little round mirror. Again this was a natural colour but I sprayed it black, you don't know how I love to spray things and then up here this is where I keep kind of my most frequently used and also some new products which I kind of keep out on display to remind myself that I need to try. Um, and also for anyone that asks, this is my tanning product. I love it, it is so awesome. I've also been really loving the new um, range by Elizabeth Arden. This is the Privage range and that stuff there 
is insane. I'm obsessed with it. Um, now, of course, more greenery because I love my greenery. So we've got Monstera, aka a cheese plant there, which I'm not gonna lie, it's probably one of the most impressive Monsteras I have ever seen in my life. And then on here, sorry, the light might change a bit because I'm right near the window. Got some succulents and then some products in here. Massive palm. This was actually the first plant that we ever got and it has grown ginormous. So we're very, very chuffed with that. And then over here, we've got our washing basket. We have a chest of drawers, which I know is a little bit unorthodox to have in a bathroom, but of course I am a blogger slash vlogger. So I have ample amounts of stuff which requires all of this storage. Um, you will see scented candles in every single room of the house. In this room, I have a nice Elemis one. And to be honest, it makes this bathroom smell like an Elemis spa, which is simply delightful. So there we have it. That is the bathroom. I'll give you a quick little pan from over in this direction. Oh, little someone waiting there. Now let's head upstairs to the next level. Okay, so this level is where the two bedrooms are. So this is the master bedroom, which is our bedroom. We've got the whole gray and white theme. Hello, darling, are you following me? Boris likes to do girls things. Oh, and Bo, hi guys. Um, so yes, we've gone for the whole kind of white and gray theme. It's just very clean, very fresh, and everything smells of linen. It's very, very nice. It's a very white company, isn't it? Um, which is very apt because all of our bedding is always from the white company. Now again, up here, I have some more Decenio prints. These again are more trendy line drawings of kind of people, all artsy and stuff. It's very Picasso, isn't it? Uh, and then I have one more over here, which is the moon phase one, which I had, I think in my last home tour, maybe, I can't remember. Now, since my last home tour, there are a few things which I wanted to change and I haven't. So I would actually like to ask your advice. These horribly tacky, fake diamante doorknob things I have on all the mirrored furniture I want to change, but for the life of me, I cannot find any doorknobs or little draw draw knobs. I'm sorry, I'm actually laughing at the word knob. Um, I can't find them anywhere. I'm trying HomeSense, Zara Home, TK Maxx, all of those kind of places, literally cannot find any. So any advice or any suggestions, please do leave them down in the comments below and I will happily take those on board. Um, okay, right over in the corner, we have another tree. Now for anyone that loves the look of any of our plants, over on my Instagram, there is a story highlight. And for anyone that wants to know what any of the plants, something's going on. Boris has lost his mind. Uh, for anyone that wants to know any of the plants that we have around the house, those are all listed over on that Instagram story highlight titled plants. Very apt, isn't it? Uh, so over here I've got another bedside table. This is mine. I sleep on this side like a queen. And yes, more sticks in jars because we've got to have that fragrance going on. I understand we do not have two lamps, but you know what? I never use that one. It's not even got a bulb. It's not even plugged in. I just didn't know where to put it and I can't bring myself to kind of get rid of it. So yes, pineapple lamp is there just for decoration and to kind of fill up the bedside table. Now over here, this is my chest of drawers or rather our chest of drawers. We do share these. Um, and I usually have my most frequently used or recently used bag. So I have my Mansour Gavriel or Gavriel, however you'd like to pronounce it. Tiny bucket bag there. Got some more baby's breath in a vase and then my jewelry got some rings and earrings down in that one and my watch here in some little gold jewelry boxes you guys will recognize this area here as my hall area because this is where i stand and do all my hauls now the biggest change in this room is of course these beastly wardrobes because in my first home tour these were that horrific marble and if you guys watch my weekly vlogs you would have seen I did a very nice job if I do say so myself 
of a very nifty home DIY and I turned them into French doors, which I think looks bloody wonderful. And then over here behind the door, I have my shoes. We did used to have one of those lift up beds, but it broke, in fact, we had two, they both broke. And so, yeah, it's just not worth it. Now, out here in the hallway, Oh, I feel like such a posh person in the hallway. It's like the world's smallest hallway, look at that. Um, so we have a feature light over here, that was from M&S. Here, another mirror. Yes, guys, another mirror. I told you we are very heavy on the mirrors. Um, here, sadly, rest in peace succulent. I lost one succulent, so I need to buy a new one. However, it had been going for five years, so I think I did very well there. A uh, little succulent on there, and this is actually my shoe cabinet. So in here we have my like sandals and things and then in the bottom one there are some trainers and basically it's just an overflow of anything that won't fit on there. It all goes in here and then in here this is all my shoe care. Moving on into the office. Now this room I used to really love. Now I'm kind of like, mm, it's a bit basic. I would wish it kind of had a little bit more style to it, but you know what? It does the function it is supposed to do. Now I'm gonna come in here and maneuver around. This obviously is our desk. This is where Simon works on the big beast. And then I work over here on the little beast. Um, again, we have more Decenio prints. Now the only thing that's really new in here is that we've changed the layout slightly, but the biggest change, oh hello, 100k, we got the plaque, that was a special day. Uh, now over here, this is my rail for anything that is new in so currently oh look at that this actually just arrived this morning we have a new cult gaia and this is the new collection cult gaia bag and it's come in this most beautiful box look at that it's like a hat box stunning i will link that one down below if anyone's interested and then up here these are all um from and other stories this is my latest new in section of stuff that i need to remember i need to do something with in here we've got all of our equipment neatly put away and then some kind of coffee table books down on the bottom and this room is also home to Simon's wardrobes, which are basically a replica of mine. They are just not done in the French style. And we have yet another Laradou rug in here, which is the same as the one that we have in the lounge, the famous Laradou rug. Now let's head down, down, down into the kitchen. Right, welcome to the kitchen. Here we go, rock and roll. What can I say? Well, it's a kitchen, you know? It does what it does. Exactly the purpose it was intended for. So I'm gonna start over here, with which, surprise, surprise, we have another Decenio print. This is the famous coffee guide one. I don't drink coffee, but Simon does. I think I mentioned in my previous home tour video, this kitchen is actually my least favorite room in the house because it's the only room which we haven't had chance to put our own stamp on yet. So this is the kitchen that came in the house when we bought it. So we would ideally love to rip all this out and do our own kitchen from scratch. Also, that door is the only door that needs painting in the house as well. See, all of these little jobs that need doing that we'll probably never do. <laughs> now over here, we have some wine. I was actually gonna get the Decenio wine guide, a little small one up there, but I don't know. With the clock there, I'm not sure if it's a bit too much. Now this area in the bottom of the kitchen is new. Yes, this is the indoor greenery that I spoke about in my vlogs. So over on this side, let's do this wall first. Um, there's still some adjustments that need to be made in this area because it is new um, and we've knocked this up in like a couple of weeks. We've gone out collecting all the plants and stuff and yeah, we need to still change like a few bits and bobs. So maybe you guys can give us some suggestions. So we've got some hanging plants up here. We need to adjust these so they're all at different levels so that's something that still needs to be done. Uh, this is where I moved the Decenio prints, which were actually where the dining table and the new art drawings are. Um, so move them down here because obviously they're all leafy vibes and very, very apt. And then of course we've got lots of our greenery. So there's 
banana, the banana plant from a vlog a couple of weeks ago. And then over here, some more plants. And remember guys, if anyone wants to know a full list of all the plants in the house, head over to my Instagram. That will be displayed on screen now. And you can see the story highlight, which are those little circles on my Instagram bio. Uh, on my Instagram kind of account page. Now this is the furniture that I decided to buy. It's basically, it was two egg chairs and a little table. I'm not 100% sold on this set. I feel like it looks a bit cheap. Now I'm sure you guys are gonna pipe up and tell me if you agree with that. Um, but if anyone's got any other furniture recommendations, this is quite a small kind of space. So that's why I could only keep one of the chairs. Um, Plus, it's very unlikely that both Simon and I will be sat down here together. It's just not gonna happen, we're both really busy. So yes, this is kind of just a reflective space for just one of us. There is our doggy gate, very nice. And then here, doggy bed, doggy bowl, and then this plant area over here. So very, very plant heavy. Plants just make me happy. They really, really do. They just make me smile and they make me feel positive. So yeah, that is the kitchen. Let's do another little pan back so we can see in all its glory. Now let's head out. I'm gonna do a brief little tour of the garden for anyone that didn't see the garden. So here we go, right, we've got a, my day bed. This is mine, specifically mine. Uh, the very hard, hard earned fence that I painted last summer, that was tough tough work there guys. This is Simon's special chair. Um, he is only person allowed to sit on that chair. And then the garden essentially is his. He looks after all of these plants and I've got to be honest with you, it's not a bad looking garden to be fair, considering we've got five dogs. So over here, this is our little seating area. We've got a little chimney here. This is the place that gets the sun for the longest time of day. So we can have eight people sat around this table because we've got these little stool things as well. And then of course this building at the end is our shed thing. And if you watched last week's vlog, you will know, or rather it was this week's vlog, you'll know that we're transforming that into a studio. So stay tuned over on the vlogs because you will see the progress, what's going on in there oh you're not gonna be able to see because it's a reflection sorry about that and yeah that is it basically let's head back into the house and this is our little garden perfect size for five two hours and two people right guys that really is it now for my home tour i hope you enjoyed it and as I mentioned, there will be lots and lots of links for as much as I could possibly link down in the description box below. But if there's anything that you are curious about, anything you wanna know where it's from or where you could get something similar, please do leave me a comment down in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Again, guys, if you're new, hit the subscribe button if you like what you see. We do a vlog every Tuesday and then we do videos on Thursday and Sunday. So you get three a week from us. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you all next time. Everyone's been having a sit on him. Taking your little neck brace off. Yeah, mine were a bit thin because I ate a lot of the mixture. <laughs>